So guys, on my way to work yesterday, saw him behind another guy, and we ended up coming up on this car that changed lanes right in front of him. The guy ended up doing a really good job of keeping his bike up, skid sideways a little bit, but he managed, he didn't hit the car. He saved himself. Really unfortunate that he had to perform that maneuver. But before I show you the clip, I just wanted to say that I don't condone what happens afterwards. I mean, it, if it was me, I wouldn't do it. I mean, I, I would definitely <laughs> I would have to make sure the person knew they almost took me out. But I don't condone what the person did in retaliation because now both parties are upset I mean the bike obviously had a right to be upset <laughs> and, and I know that in the heat of the moment it, it's like a, a gut reaction not anything you could it, he wasn't in a sound mind so I get it I just want to let you guys know that I don't condone that kind of action. It's not something I would do personally. But I was involved in the situation. I managed to get it on, on video. And I was affected by it too. I ended up locking up my rear brake, which stopped the engine. And barely managed to stay up. Anyways guys, here's the clip. No shit. Be careful, ladies and gentlemen. That was nearly two bikers taken out. You know guys, there is nothing quite like locking up your rear wheel without disengaging the clutch <laughs> because it kills your bike. As soon as we went into that skid, my bike shut off because I hit the brakes just trying to keep the bike level and didn't disengage the clutch, so tire wasn't spinning, engine was engaged, killed the engine. Not really too difficult to get out of though, you just have to pull in the clutch, get it into whatever gear you think you're going to be in by the time you start moving again, and start your bike. Hot damn is that fucking scary as hell. Seriously, have to pay attention. Look in your mirrors. <laughs> 